What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft for the PlayStation 4. In this episode, first off I thought maybe we should just, you know, clear up our farm here. We have plenty of farm to dig up here, plenty of wheat to get, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. Our farm has been doing great here. You can see we have plenty of different stuff. But with that being said, I just want to say that, you know, we've been spending a lot of time in the local area, either it be building our farm or improving our house or all the other kind of stuff we've done recently. So it's like it's all been local by the house and while that's cool and all I feel like we need to itch that adventure scratch so why don't we first off get some of these melons and then what we're going to do is we're gonna go on a little adventure maybe we should make our way back down to the mines or maybe we should find a new mine to adventure so that we can find more diamonds you might have known in the last few episodes, I think it was episode 8 or 9, you should check them out if you haven't, but we um, went on a quest to find diamonds. And yes, we did end up finding them, but unfortunately, we only found two. And that's not quite enough to make anything substantial, you usually need more than two to make diamond stuff. So, I figure maybe we should continue our quest to find even more diamond, I feel like that would be a really awesome and fun experience. And yeah, so I figure, why don't we go and do that now? We got plenty of wheat now, so maybe we should cook up some bread while we're out and about. There's something cooking up. And then what's going on in our house? Of course, in the last episode, we built up a house. We've well, yet to fill it up, and there's some pl plenty of stuff we need to do when it comes to interior decoration with the house. But I figured we should just save that for a future episode, just because I really want to get to adventure, and I'm in the mood to adventure, go on a grand scheme of things, you know? And we have a gold finish. Cool, here's 11 gold. Let's uh, just replace it for the wheat, right? That's how we make this, right? I completely forget. Maybe we don't... Do we... I forget how to make bread. I completely forget. That's right, you don't even need to cook it, which is actually quite weird when you think about it, but there we go, we got some bread. Oh, we're going to try... I swear we already have that trophy, but what do you know? We don't. <laughs> so definitely, we're going to need some equipment. I wouldn't need an iron pickaxe, so, like, what stuff do I not need, though, more importantly? I don't need this, I don't need that, or that, or that, or that, or this, or that, or that. <laughs> Definitely we'll need some food. It's gonna be a big adventure, guys. We're gonna go and go into the deep caves, go into world unknown, and hopefully bring a map, too. That's gonna be important. So definitely we have to really gear up here. I'm gonna keep the iron ingot in my inventory just in case it seems like I need more uh, stuff. Get rid of all you guys, and you guys, too. Okay, so far, so good. I think that... Definitely looks like we need more iron pickaxes, so maybe I should get those sticks back. Okay, then we will figure out our inventory and we'll be right back. Okie dokie, I sort of really stocked up here. Now we have plenty of food and plenty of stuff to get us by. Hmm, maybe, maybe watermelon might not be, oh gosh, I didn't want to do that though, oh gosh. <laughs> maybe watermelon might not be the best option to bring us, with us on an adventure, so I think I might replace it with some meat, and then we'll be on our way though, we should be just straight up good to go at this point, we can get our raw beef here, put this over here, and then let's cook this up, and then we'll be ready to go on a fantastic adventure, where should we go while this is cooking, maybe we should climb up, nah, I don't really have a way to see from up there, but it's actually getting dark now, oh no. So I need to sort of look around and see which ways we have explored and which ways we haven't. And I feel like that's how I'm gonna judge where we should go. Of course, back in the, earlier in the series, we found that really cool abandoned mine shaft and I didn't fully experience it, but I wanna see something new. I wanna see something amazing, you know? So why don't we, uh, cl while we're waiting for our meat to cook, let's climb up to the very, very top of this mountain and sort of scope out the area. Because if we do remember, we started our adventure off towards the sun, this way. By this jungle is right where we started. You can see there's even the mystical um little random little fountain, or not fountain, but a well that has nothing else but a well over there. And then over here, this is where we found the desert and we found the mine shaft. So maybe we should go a little bit over this way and see what we can find. Hi, Pooch. I think that it's just gonna be me for this adventure. Nothing against you, you're awesome, Pooch. You are a fantastic dog. But I just feel like, I don't know, if I'm gonna go into a cave, I don't want you following me around and potentially getting hurt. So I think you're going to stay, you're gonna stick home for this one. You're gonna guard the house. How about that? You're gonna be my official house guarder. Okay, then let's go. Our food should be done cooking up now, so let's uh, go back and then we'll be able to return Pooch into his safe spot. Did Pooch just fall? Are you okay, Pooch? He's right over here. <laughs> There's too many dogs around here. I'm gonna get him confused with the other ones. Okay, then. Uh, let's go back in, then. Come on, Pooch. Come on. You can do it. Oh, is he coming in? I think he is. That would be nice of him to do. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Hooray. All right, Pooch, where are you? Are you in the house? Are you out of the house? Can you not decide where you want to be, ever? Because he just disappears. <laughs> Here he is. Come on, sit down. 
Oh, I just gave you meat. That's awesome and all, but <laughs> that means mine. I don't want to give it to you right now. All right, then. He's loving me, though. He's absolutely adoring me. You're going to go in here. There you go. Oh, good job. You, you sit tight. All right, then. On an adventure we go. We even have our nice little map. Yeah, even the map says we have an adventure this way. So most definitely, we're going to go off this way and have a grand, awesome adventure. I'm excited. So let's just get it started. Let's kick it off well. Uh-oh, I got to do this first. Uh, boop, boop, boop. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> there we go. All right, then. Our inventories are nice and organized. That's always important as well. So, yeah, I hope you guys have been having an awesome Christmas, an amazing holiday month. It's always nice during the holidays just to relax and smile and enjoy yourselves. But, I mean, I'm, I'm having a great holiday. It's been really fun. We just recently uploaded the first episode, the first night of Five Nights in Freddy's, and that's always a blast, right? Spooky, scary games. Oh, no, did I drop that? No, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> All right, we are going a little off course. Let's go a bit this way. All right, that's a bit better. And we know that where we are because we're this little brown spot right over my reticle. That is my house. So I just need to remember that and we're going to be okay. We're going to be able to find our house back nice and easily. As long as we don't travel too far off the map. But there we go. We just need to continue this way. <laughs> I love adventuring. It's so much fun to adventure. It's always my favorite thing in games like this. And ooh, what have we found around here? No, nothing? Is it just a little dip in the land? Not exactly anything I was looking for. Maybe soon we should craft the boat and go out to sea. <laughs> Treat it like Wind Waker or something. Da -da 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 That's the Indiana Jones song. That has nothing to do with Zelda. <laughs> Anyways, I just like love walking in one direction and seeing what we're going to find sometimes. It's really cool. Maybe if we get bored, we can just start digging down right away. By the way, we have some sheep. Hello, sheep. Hmm, okay. It, just, it feels like we have the whole world ahead of us. Ooh, some reeds. Those are always nice to have. So let me, uh... Get some of that here. Let's use. Let's pull out our torches just so we're not using the durability of anything. But where are we now? It seems like. Okay, if we keep going this way, Clay. Whoa, where's Clay? Hmm. Okay, I think I can use my spoon, my trusty spoon, and get some clay. Now clay isn't something I've gotten in this game, so it'll be nice to have. Hmm. Is there any more over here? Looks like it. Cool. Uh oh, don't want to run out of air though. <gasps> Gotta take a deep breath. <laughs> cool. I've never been a great swimmer. Zebras really aren't, I guess. But hey, I'm gonna get all the clay I can. Nice, there's clay all over the place, too. All right, then. I don't know what I can actually make with clay, so maybe you guys in the chat in the comment section below, if you'd like to let me know what I can make with clay, feel free to let me know what my options are, because there's, that's always nice to know, you know? Knowing if, if I can make anything cool with it. Either way, I'm going to try to go for the platinum of this game, if I've told you guys in the beginning episodes. So, you know, having every single item in my inventory at some point or another is actually a good thing. So there we go. We got some clay. There we go. Some Already some progress made with this little adventure. What are we going to do now? It looks like we're off this way. And this is where it gets scary because I'm reaching the edge, like the ending ridge of the map. So I need to be careful. I need to pay attention to what I'm doing. Because I don't want to go too far and then be lost completely. I think if I pay attention to where my reticle is going, because it doesn't ever tell me... It doesn't ever tell you where you're facing with the X, Y, and Z, which is sort of a bit of a pain. I mean, of course, if you were moving positively, on the z-axis, then that means you are moving north on the map. Or not positively, my bad, it's actually negatively. Okay then, so if I'm moving positively, I'm going back to my house, and that's the most important thing. So if I stay on the y69, okay, I, I know basic coordinate talk, that's fine. Now I'm never gonna remember those numbers, so I might end up getting pumpkins! More importantly than getting lost pumpkins! I love pumpkins, they're like my favorite item in this game, and I've found them previously, but every time I find them, I have to pick them up. So let's get some pumpkins and enjoy them. I gotta get them all, too. Ready, take this one, and this one, and this one, too. <laughs> and I don't know, there's something so great about exploring in Minecraft, and I don't know, it's like, the game definitely is way different from what I originally played it back, like, in 2011. And it's weird, because the game totally gives a different feel nowadays than what it did before. And that's not a bad thing, the game is still awesome and it has a fun adventure feeling to it. But it's just, it's different. It's no, most definitely different. Hmm, so what's going on here? The whole world is ahead of us. Maybe we can find a cave soon. That's what I would really like to find, is some type of cave to adventure in and hopefully, hopefully find some diamonds. Ooh! Some ice, icy areas, okay then. So where are we now? Let's give a little look here. 
And like here you can tell, it doesn't even tell you which way you're facing on your little reticle, which is actually sort of a pain. I just gotta start relying on my sense of direction at this point, I guess. I sort of wish the map was a little more versatile, was a little more zoomed out, because we really haven't traveled too far at all. Either way, let's just keep going this way. Mm -hmm. Looks like we do have a, a little bit of a cave over here. Not sure if there's gonna be anything in that. Ooh. And is there another thing over here? Not looking like it, just a little dip in the mountain. And I really wanna find, of course, is a village. Now, I haven't really found too much establishments in this playthrough. I don't think I've really found any. Besides the abandoned mine shaft and that one well near our spawn, we really haven't found too much cool stuff like that. And that's something most definitely I'm interested in trying to find. You know, whoa, what was, <sighs> speak of the devil. Here it is, there's something way off in the distance over there, and it looks like to be a village. Is it a sand village? I think it is. I've never seen one of those in Minecraft before, but I've heard about them. I've seen like updates about them. There it is, exciting. Oh man, I speak, I ask, and I shall receive. But cool, let's go and get that. Ooh, you see that ice parkour jump I just did? <laughs> cool. But yeah, what was I gonna say? Oh man, but, oh gosh, I completely forget. Oh no, <laughs> that's okay though, because we can be all excited and see what this is all about. Come on, alley -oop, and then alley -oop, there we go. And let's just run all the way, run the distance. Make it all the way there. Oh man, it's such a, it's like, a, what if it's like a sand mirage? It's just, we're out in this desert, it's just a mirage, as soon as we get over there, it's gonna disappear. <laughs> oh no. Oh man, hopefully they have plenty of good stuff to give us. I know that there's trading now, which is something, yet again, I have not experienced in Minecraft. So that's gonna be a cool thing to do. So let's run over there, and hopefully they have some cool stuff for us. I know that you need emeralds for that, which isn't something I quite have. But, hmm, I could always steal from these guys. I don't, is, is it like Skyrim now, where they'll actually attack you if you try to steal stuff? What is that? Is that the villagers? Do they make noises now? They make noises now. Potatoes restores 0.5 health, or hunger. And it, okay, whoa, they are talkative too. Oh my gosh, I didn't know they could talk now. They're little, the little squid words. <laughs> okay, found in villagers, villagers will offer to sell items to the player depending on their profession. Okay, so like you can give me some flint. I don't really want flint though, no thanks. Is that all you offer? Okay, no thank you. And what about you, buddy? You had some bread, I have bread. But everyone wants emeralds, so it's like I can't, he gives me emeralds for raw beef. Okay, this is interesting. I've never experienced this in Minecraft before. And is this a scientist? Who are you? Librarian offers a compass. But I need emeralds for that, and you, what do you want? Hey, hey, don't get hurt, stop that, no, no, buddy, don't, no! Okay, stop this, this is a danger to you all, oh, I'm protecting you, I'm the new protector of this village. This village is protected by zebra. I'm gonna have to destroy this as well. Anything that could hurt my village buddies, I need to get rid of it. Destroy it completely. <laughs> I don't care if it's their way of life. Okay then, this is really cool. So you will offer me a compass. What will you offer me? And, and I, what is this again? I have Ender. Now I do believe you need those to get to the end of the game, which is definitely a big goal for us. So this potato, we can get potatoes from this. And there's carrots here. Oh man, I hope they don't mind. Nobody minds, right? If I just you know get a little bit of a munch, get some food. Uh oh, it's getting dark though. You know what, let's uh, grab the rest of these potatoes. There we go, okay then. And what happened to those iron golems that were added to the game? Are they still here? Hmm, interesting. Uh oh, how is anyone gonna get up here? I don't know, let me uh, help these guys out here. I'll be a nice guy here. What is that? Is this is this a potato? Poison potato, I don't want that. Ew, that sounds nasty. All right then, Um, let's see what's on in here. Nothing, this is a quite empty house, hmm. And then there's glass panes in there as well. People are telling me I need some glass panes to uh, spiff up my house a bit, and I completely agree. But wow, this is quite the adventure so far, and I'm enjoying this, we're making good progress. But oh man, there's like no beds around here. Oh, that villager went into his house. They're hiding away, they know it's dangerous out here. Hmm, I don't know what quite to do about this. Cause I don't think they have any beds. Should we hide out for the night with them? There's another village. There's something over there. They look, no wait, are those trees or is that a village? I think it's actually trees. Maybe it's swampland trees. It sort of looks like a village. Oh, it's getting dark quick. I wanna run down here. Oh no. This house is blocked off too. Okay, quickly, quickly, quickly. We gotta act fast before the monsters come out. We need to save ourselves and the villagers. Here, let's get the pickaxe. No, stop that. Move out of the way, please. Don't get hurt by me because you're in the way. That's not good for either of us because then people will be mad at us or me and think I'm a bad guy when I'm actually trying to help you out. So let's uh, boom, 
And then boom, boom, boom. Boom. Okay, go, go, go. Go in here with him. And, oh gosh, it's dark in here, though. I don't like how dark it is in here. Let's light it up a bit. And boom. And, so it looks like I have a housemate for the night. <laughs> oh, I got two housemates. Okay, then. So, hi, guys. D hi, how are you? It's getting dark, too. I don't know what to do about this. Oh, ma'am. So the, the houses really don't have too much in them, which is sort of disappointing. I was hoping for some nice loot, but this is crazy. This is a cool adventure. We've been seeing new stuff <laughs> every single day, and now we have a sand village. We are far from home, but we have found friends here in this Minecraft adventure. Either way, we are here with them. And we're gonna hang out for a bit, spend the night. Either way, I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys can in come with the next episode so we can uh, see what happens in our little sand village adventure. Either way, I'd thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like and sharing it with your friends and family. And comment in the comments section below. What do you think about this episode? What do you think about this cool sand village? Either way, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft for the PlayStation 4 and today I I, 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 I can I not speak can I not speak English maybe I can speak gibberish but I'm not I'm not a part of the Sims games so that doesn't help